This story centers on Mary Jane and the intense fear she experiences with Peter, now wearing the symbiote. Told from MJ's perspective, the narrative unfolds like a horror film, yet she can't quite pinpoint why she feels so uneasy in her own home. Before we continue, don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons to stay updated with more comic book content like this and help support small content creators like me. It begins with MJ alone at night, reading a classic monologue. She reflects on how Peter has been behaving oddly lately, almost as if he's not himself anymore. Then, she suddenly hears a disturbing squeaking sound. She nervously calls out, Peter? She's convinced Peter is hiding something, and whatever it is, it's lurking within their house. She confides in the readers that she constantly hears something moving just beyond her line of sight. And at times, it sounds as though it's crawling within the walls. In a hushed tone, she whispers, Where are you? She suspects it might be under their floorboards as she listens to it skitter across the floor. She emphasizes that she hears the creepy noise all the time. With the look of sheer terror on her face, she admits that the sound is always there when Peter comes to bed at night. Suddenly, a loud crash echoes from the bedroom. To stay calm, she tries to focus on the monologue she had been reading earlier. She recalls that after she discovered Peter was Spider-Man, they made a vow to stop keeping secrets from each other. She asks herself, when did it change? She whispers, when did you stop trusting me, Peter? As she gets ready to enter the bedroom, clutching a baseball bat, she can't help but wonder what else he's been hiding from her. When she opens the door and swings the bat wildly, we see a rat leap out and run away. Maybe that was the noise. But deep down, she knows it's more than just a rat. She believes something sinister is living in their home and fears that discovering what it is could destroy her relationship with Peter. And that's something she's determined not to let happen. She thinks maybe Peter brought it home with him, but now it belongs to both of them. An image of the symbiote looms behind her as she squeezes her eyes shut. She mentions that Peter hasn't been feeling like himself lately, and neither has she, as the story ends with MJ's shadow transforming into a symbiote. 